This is Bent E, a familiar face on the job. Oh, it's Bent E. The unofficial safety representative. Oh, we'll edit that bit out. Smart, Cut. experienced, efficient, and very quick on his feet too. How old can it be? He knows all the tricks. Fancy coming in? I'm Ben T, and uh, I'm working as a mason. Just started a major renovation job here, so no time. What uh, about job safety? Safety? If you stick close to me, you'll be fine. Just fine. Take a look. Now that, that's dangerous. I'm just plastering this, uh, Lintel here, and according to safety regulations, you're not supposed to work with your arms raised above your head. But then we never close off this hole. Unless we decided to raise a scaffold in, uh, but uh, then we'd end up getting bad backs. If you can't raise your arms above your head, you haven't got a chance uh, for some cheering. Champions! Champions! Nothing to it. A lot of people think I'm the only one who gets any work done around here. I am, actually. But if I do need help once in a while, then... You can wipe that smirk off your face. It's not you I'm talking about. Nip off to the cap and get us an egg roll, will you? I'm talking about the bricklayer's assistant, and if he's a zombie, you've got a real problem. Bricklayer's assistant, come and show this apprentice how it's done. Coming through, coming through. Zombie at work. That's my boy. Shouldn't he be cleaning up? Cleaning up? That's a good idea. Make a start. <laughs> this is what I call a smoke screen for professionals. <laughs> hello? Hello? Yeah? This is Bentley? Is the suction broken or what? No. <laughs> Save electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Saving electricity. <laughs> this guy's funny. <laughs> Obviously, some people wear smoke masks, safety hats, goggles and gloves, uh, smoke helmet equipment when they're doing this kind of work, but this fella... He's my guy. He just keeps going. Nothing to it. Hey, uh, apprentice, snip up there and grab this bucket, will you? When you, uh, when you work up high, you have to be careful when you're using ladders, because uh, they can be a bit unstable. But it's much better to use mobile scaffolding like this one. You're safer on four legs than you are on two. Oh, it's much easier to work. Yep. We need to plot the last piece here. Hey, uh, bricklayer's assistant. How many, uh, how many bricks were shoved into here? Uh, huh? I uh, don't know. They weren't. They jumped in. <laughs> I've just uh, finished plastering this wall and uh, the lime stale comes which you have to remove with acid. You're supposed to use a ratio of 1 to 20 but uh, yeah, it's so mild you could drink it. Just splashing the acid. It hurts your eyes, ears and nose. Mmm, smells efficient. <coughs> oh, you've got to cut that out. Cut, cut. So, you're here again, eh? Oops, hey. Arms over the head, eh? No, no, I forgot. Cheering's not allowed, eh? Nah, if we're trying to be serious for a moment, take the trowel in the hand, so to speak. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, a bit of smoke and noise and acid on the scaffolding, but honestly, there's nothing to worry about. There really isn't. Hey.